Hi, I'm Mark, and uh, we're in my studio, Red Oak Studios, here in Los Angeles. And uh, I, I have kind of two studios I bounce back and forth between. This is the L.A. one, and we have one in Nashville as well. The rooms sound a little different, and that's one one place that Sonar Works has really come, come to be a, a helpful tool for me to be working on something here in the morning and land in Nashville and finish working on it at night and still feel like, oh, this feels like the same song, you know, when I, when I pop it up in a different room. So, especially for me where I'm moving from room to room, just just knowing that th I can walk in and, and the project's going to sound pretty much the same in whatever room I'm in. And with my headphones, it's going to sound the same from my speakers to my headphones and from this set of speakers in L.A. to my speakers in Nashville. It's it's just reassuring when you walk in and it sounds different then you start doubting the choices that you've made and I, I don't like to do that I like to I like to forge ahead really quickly in my decisions and not start second guessing myself I mean the, the sonar works was a big part of that it really helped it, it made it really easy for me to get all three rooms sounding consistent without having to reshoot the room You know, your if your your speakers down a couple dB in the top end, that affects every EQ choice you make across anywhere from 80 to you know from 30 to 200 channels. I'm every EQ, and then there's that you know those things all start to build up. Uh, you know, and then that might be things that I'm readjusting with my master EQ, but. If, if I can just make those choices all along, it's you know it's it might make a five or ten percent difference in the end product. You know, it might be a it might be a, a small difference, but it overall, I mean, accumulatively, that's that's a that's a huge difference to me. You know, uh, it's just, you know it's made the top end I think and that upper mid range a little easier to really feel when things are poking out too much or a guitar is too gritty or a vocal spitting too much. You know, th those kind of choices. I mix for a lot of people around the world and I, you know, at the end I'm sending my session back to them. You know, we, we send the backup copy and I notice I get a lot more sessions in over the past year, two years, coming back to being sent to me now with SonarWorks on, especially in the past year. So I'll, I'll see a SonarWorks plugin coming back in, you know, because I've been sending out so many sessions with it. And, you know, I mean, I see more and more people using it. And if, if I can have, working with bands, either in their home studios or on the road in headphones, uh, this is stuff we've talked about before, just being able to discuss choices that we're making if they're hearing something similar it makes it easier for me getting through problems and getting everybody kind of on the same page so i'm hearing i'm understanding what they're saying they're understanding what i'm saying so I, I like to just get in get in a place where i believe in my speakers and i so I, therefore i believe in the choices that i'm making i mean my initial reaction is probably the same of with with any engineer, when you you sh you shoot your room and you change the speakers and you go, oh my god, it something's wrong here. You know, is it them or is it my? You know, but uh, you know, I mean, because even even slight adjustments to me are seem really major because this is all I do twelve hours a day. I think when I really when I switched to Sonar Works, I think I felt uh, after you know after a week or something, I started feeling a little more confident. And some of those choices, I spent a little less time second guessing stuff. Uh, you know, if, if I'm really second guessing something, I might go out and listen in my car or another environment. But that's that's not very often. I I want to I want to I want to believe what I'm hearing is what I should be hearing, and make make my choices really quickly built on that uh, you know on that assumption. If more people could hear those, you know, could really could feel those choices helping to, you know, get across the emotion of the song, that would be awesome.